to the world of explain everything. Explain everything is the most important tool that I use in the science classroom. It is, works very well with inquiry and is probably the best communication tool out there. It is our primary use because we don't have um, notebooks in the lab. So all of our lab reports, all of our adventures outside, all of our hands-on activities are recorded and communicated using Explain Everything. I'm not going to go into the nitty-gritty details, but we do own it at HTS. If you've never used it, I highly recommend that you um, book some time with the tech department to go through it. I know that uh, Jay Dickinson and Steph are extremely adept at it as well. I've also lumped in EduCreations here. EduCreations is basically the uh, simpler version of Explain Everything. It's absolutely free. It might be really good for somebody who is just starting out um, or you just want to capture some simple information. However, I've seen kindergartens all the way up to grade six use Explain Everything with um, really, really good success. I just want to show you how I use it. Here's a couple of different photographs that I've added. One is the, this, you'll see them taking a picture here. The girls are taking a picture of the TV screen. So instead of me handing out lab sheets and then handing them back in, what we do is we'll just take a photograph of what's important on our screen for the lab, including the instructions and any charts or anything that needs to be filled out, and they'll just put it right in and explain everything to mock it up. They also, what's really important about this is that they can fill it in with numbers and using the pen, but they can add beside it videos and photographs of what they're actually doing to really enrich the experience of the lab. You can see it firsthand, and it'll, it really helps me understand what they're thinking when they submit the work. Um, this one is a great example. This is Rebecca in grade four who had to create an animal uh, that we might find on an alien world. Uh, we thought of some of the changes in the environment that would occur when we were talking about adaptations. And, and Rebecca had to choose different parts of animals that would really help this particular animal survive in this wild. So she, you can tell she's chosen a rhino horn, a tiger's head, uh, looks like cheetah's legs. And she. the best part, in my opinion, is that she's gone through and she's explained it using her voice um, to really enrich the experience. So I could look at the picture and go, okay, I see what she's done here, but she's explained why she's done it, which again, is a form of communication is ideal. And finally, I'm just going to show you um, some photographs that I take and upload to the lab of um, work we're just generally doing. There's no, uh, no, no real specific topic here, but you can see how many of these photos, there's iPads being used. And on those iPads typically, or explain everything so that the students can communicate very well. Um, this is a powerful tool. Check out some of the student examples below.